everybody and welcome to this week's video. So this week, little Rebby is doing his first ever event. Um, he has been coming on beautifully and I have everything crossed. We're going to have a really good time tomorrow. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt to vlog it all. So uh, keep watching. Barry, shush. Keep watching. See how we did. So, first things first is bath time. Got to get him all clean. Um, I know it's going to be really muddy tomorrow, and I know he's bay. I know it's probably going to rain all day, but I cannot go to an event without bathing. Um, he needs a bath. He's not had a proper bath. I can't remember the last time he had a proper bath, so he needs one. So, uh, that's first on the agenda. Then we've got all the tacks clean. And I'm going to have to plat him tonight because we are leaving at 5.30 tomorrow morning. So I don't want to be platting him in the morning. Worst comes to worst, if I don't get round to platting, mum is coming this time. So she will, she can plat him on the lorry while I go walk the course. But ideally I'd like her to walk the course with me because it's his first one. Um, there might be some questions I need to, uh, you know, it's good to bounce ideas off how to ride things with her. Bonus of having... Um, you know, mother slash coach slash helper slash rider, you know, we're a team. So it's good to have her to bounce ideas off uh, whilst walking the course. So I'm going to try and get him platted today. And uh, yeah, then uh, we'll be off super early tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah, I see you are chewing on that boot. Got the water filling, got the hot water brewing. Let's get them. Um, the blessing and the curse of a bay is you can't see the dirt, but that also means you don't know how dirty they are. They were pretty mingin, weren't you? They were pretty mingin. Um, yeah, there's some very brown and yellow water coming off of him. Um, but anyway, all done now. All done, aren't ya? Yes, right, put you back in your house, get a tail bandage on you, and then uh, you can have your tea. Yes, you can have your tea. Oi, oi, oi. Cheeky. So, as of last time, I'm out on uh, Saturday, which means I am at work today, day before. So, I'm trying to get everything ready alongside doing all these guys. So, I've had the bath, and uh, while he's drying, I'm going to crack on with the yard job. It's about quarter to five already. Oh, where does the day go? Um, and then I'm going to crack on and get everything else sorted. So, all of his lorry stuff, clean all his tack and uh, platinum and all that kind of stuff. Stud holes, all of that stuff will get done later once I've finished the yard because we have a lot in and it takes a long time, doesn't it, Bim Bim? Yes, it does. Right, let's get going. <sighs> right, so I've tackled about three quarters of the yard jobs so far. Um, Mum is almost done finished teaching, so I'm gonna leave her the rest just because if I do not start now, I'm just, I'm going to be here all bleeding night. So, time to do all this. Clean my tack. Again, some might be saying, why are you bothering? Because it's going to get covered in mud tomorrow anyway. It's all wet and gross, but I cannot go eventing without bathing my horse, platting my horse, cleaning my tack. I just cannot do it. I might not do a brilliant job right now, but I'm going to do it. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous rainbow. Wow, let's hope that is a good sign for tomorrow. God, how pretty is that? Well, darkness has fallen whilst I've been cleaning my tack, but she's all done. Everything is nice and clean, um, nice and shiny, and then I've now just got to put it in the lorry and get it all ready for our early start. Um, yeah. So the plats are in. They're uh, not too bad actually. This one's the only one I'm not so keen on. He's a bit sticky up -y. But the rest are actually looking fairly nice, Rebby. 
Okay, and the fall up light isn't fantastic either. Um, right, studs, last thing to do, and then I can go home. Oh, they look nice on this side though, don't they? Right, get your studs done, get you all wrapped up in your PJs. Right, 20 past eight in the evening, we are finally all done. Did the stud holes, wrapped him up in his PJs. Now, this is the first time Rebel is having plats in overnight from memory. I don't think he's ever had plats in overnight before. <laughs> so we will see what's left of said hood and plats tomorrow morning because uh, touch wood, he's okay. But you know, I just, he's one of those, he's either a saint or he's a little terror. So what are we thinking? Think we're gonna be in one piece? Is it all going to still be on tomorrow? The plaque's all going to still be in? Because I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Wait till we finish the food and then we'll find out. <laughs> right, I'm going to go home and get some sleep. Not a lot of it, but some of it. And then, uh, yes, we'll be back here for five o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'll see you then. Everybody, put the lights on. Oh dear. Oh, sleepy Rebs. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, you're covered in bedding. Look at you. Hello, handsome. How are those plaits? Are they all in still? They look right from this angle, but who knows what they're like underneath? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Right, we'll give you some breakfast. Yeah. Oh, aren't you sweet? Well, are you a handsome baby? Aren't you? Yeah, flats are all in. Quick flick, boot up, rug up, and let's go. Right then, sweet boy. Hi. <laughs> are you ready? These flats have stayed in nice, haven't they? They do look nice. I well, can't find the dog. <laughs> Good start. Right, we're all ready to roll. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. Here we go, sweet baby. It's so windy today. Here we get my oh boy. Come oh on then. Oh, you clever. Breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Right, it is 5:33, and we are just heading out on the yard. From the yard. Um, yeah, it's too early. Too early. I'm not fully awake yet. Um, but we are en route. Rebel's first ever event, which is so exciting. arrived we are just on course walking um that's one is fairly meaty for the 90. kind of wishing i'd done the 80 for his first one but there was no space left in the 80 when i went down to so we had to do the 90. i bet look it's fairly big for a 90 i'd say i mean it's quite like it's my it's similar to my hip anyway It'll be what it'll be. It's also on a very strange angle from one. See those red posts? That, it's just it's not coming on a very straight line. But anyway, it'll be what it'll be, like I said. We're just going to have to see, take it as it comes, see how it goes. It's all a bit of a fact-finding day today, see how he is. So, oh, let's hope it's all right. So, one and two back there, swinging round straight on to three the bigger not the biggest but the second biggest of the little housey things and then we have four over there five just there six is here and then you come back on yourself i think and head in that direction left mum on dog duty <laughs> there she goes she's got the ball launcher ready to launch that ball 
Which direction is it going in? <laughs> Woo! No, 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 not back at me! Ah! <laughs> Crazy dogs! Best thing about walking the course this early, the doggies get to have a run too. That's five. It's nice. Early meeting. Okay, first combination on course. Back at the start, which could be an issue because we could be nappy. We have this little brush with the white stripes. Might scare him. He's not great with the stark coloured things but it's not very big compared to some of the others it's got a nice brush on it and then slight curve to this little shoulder brush to be um mum's walking the stride thank you very much four nice four okay let's go and have a look then right that's not too bad. If we can get to it, I think we'll get over it. It's just, the only thing I'm worried about is the napping to the working in. Um, but hopefully, we shall survive. Because <laughs> then as well, we have to go past all this scary stuff that's here. It's all that that'll be the issue, I think, spooking at other things. Um, I mean, I've no idea, because we've never done a proper course before. Um, and then try, oh Christ, falling over, coming through the trees here, um, away from everybody again, might be a little issue, but you know, we don't know, let's see. And then we head on up through the parkland, uphill for the next section. Um, yeah, if we can get through here, we uh, should be alright. Right, second combination on course. We've come up, down there, up the hill, down nine, eight, nine, and ten, ten's there, looped round the trees here, and now eleven. It is a corner combination. No corners before, but not one this big or this open. So we'll see how we go. Quite nice first fence, nothing too scary, not massive, decent enough though. And then quite a tight distance, I think, to this fairly sizable corner fence. Hmm. Hey, look at it next to Mum, that's really big. Really Five. Okay, that's what we're going to go for. Uh, let's hope we get over this meaty monster of a corner. <laughs> Skinny after the corner, the corner formations up there. We then come around through all these other fences. How we got skinny, and then uh, down the hill we go. Oh, the water. Yeah, it's a bit here. <laughs> it is a bit sticky, but the ground is phenomenal. So come down the hill. To this little one before the water. Now I imagine here he's going to be backing off and looking at everything that's going on ahead of him because that's quite, you know, he won't have seen a water complex before coming up, up to it like this. And we do have a fence before which is not ideal, I'd rather one after, but it'll be fine. Again, it's quite big. I mean, it's a 90, it's not big for, compared to what I'm used to jumping, but for him, well, I've no idea how he's going to be, it's quite big. Um, and then we have just a splash through, but there is a step to the side, which again he's going to have a little look at, he's going to be a bit wiggly, just got to channel that energy forward um, to go through this first bit of water. That's B, got to get into it, 
and then there's a little splash, a little lump, and then another splash through at the side. Another skinny, quite a bright white one that might just make you look a little bit. Again, just kind of keep thinking about straightness. They really don't look that big on camera, but you know when you're walking up to them, I think they are quite big. I mean, I'm used to jumping little tiny things with him. So, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then, we have the dreaded ditch combination. So, yeah. Oh, God. So, this fence of the water again is quite meaty again, but I'm not even going to look at the ditch. We are going to pop that nicely. We'll see if we have a problem, we have a problem with that. Let me just go past it and carry on because it is, I think, the second to last fence. Oh, last fence! Hey, doggy dogs! Last one! Let's hope we get here. That would be nice, won't it? <laughs> and this look is what the size I was thinking would be. It's just a nice little poly, small fence. <laughs> Milo's off trying to get in the commentator's box. <sighs> okay, let's pray we get this far. Whew, right, course walked. Uh, Mum's going to go off and grab my number because it's uh, unaffiliated and they have a start fee and a number selection. So uh, sadly I won't be able to use my bib next, but uh, I think we've got bright orange numbers for the 90, which is good luck. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start getting ready. Um, I'm going to go tweed today, which is why I've got the shirt on, and uh, yeah, then we're going to get going. So, number bib is on, it's clashing beautifully with my red tie. <laughs> Um, we're almost ready. Uh, I think I'm a little bit early, so I'm not gonna get him ready just yet. There he is. There he is. The baby boy. There he is. Hi, sweetheart. Just taking his hay off him, so he's not very happy about that. Um, so I'm gonna get him all ready shortly. Now I'm all ready. Stop waving the legs about, young man. We don't need any of that, do we? Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Right, so can we go yet? Nearly, nearly time. Okie dokie, so here is Rebel's first ever dressage test for an event on grass. And uh, bless him, we had way too much working in. I got down there with what I thought was half an hour before my test. <laughs> Turned out that they were running late and he was such a good boy that I really didn't need that much time at all. So we got a little bit bored and therefore a little bit flat and um i mean it's not bad he's doing a very sweet test bless him 
but just the little finesse bits i just he got a bit on his forehand as he got a bit tired and switched off and we just didn't quite have the uh response to the aids in terms of coming back to me and listening to me in the um little half holes that i knew was asking was asking him and yeah it was, which was not the best test he could have done and uh he still produced a really sweet test and i think you'll agree for his first time on grass doing an eventing test he's being really really good i couldn't have asked for any more from him um he was not silly or sharp or anything like that he was very rideable just that just got a little bit bored by this point so things like this downwards transition where i'm probably you know asking him here like come on come back come back um he's just a little bit sort of against me where he got a bit switched off but if that's the only issue that we had then uh, i am absolutely chuffed to bits with him um yeah and it was a bit of a weird test as well these cotswold cup tests are a bit odd uh not quite as easy and smooth to ride as the be ones but you know to be fair i uh, think he did a pretty good job bless him Um, yep, there is obviously lots to improve on. Um, as he gets stronger, everything will come. I am not one for forcing my baby horses into a frame or a position that they shouldn't, you know, they're not ready to be in. Um, he is not ready to really take a ton of weight behind just yet. Uh, he's therefore going to take a little while to come off the forehand. But um, yeah, I I'm not going to be, I don't want to have to, because the thing is, if you hang on to them, and try to lift them off their forehand at this stage. They'll never learn to do it properly themselves down the line um, as they improve and strengthen. So, uh, yes, he needs to start to sit and take a bit more weight behind and then come off the forehand. Some horses are naturally built that way and others aren't. And some of them take a little bit longer to build the strength to be able to lift the forehand a little bit more. Um, so, uh, considering his stage and his training... I'm really, really pleased with this test. And things like these walks are so relaxed. There's no jogging. There's no tension. I mean, I don't think this horse carries an ounce of tension in him most of the time. He's very relaxed and chilled out about life. His only tension comes from uh, when he gets a bit angry and a bit frustrated about things. Um, but uh, he didn't do that at all in this test, other than the downward canter transitions. Um, and a lovely sweet turn onto the centre line. Now the halt needs work we need to keep practicing those he is not one for stopping he doesn't like standing still <laughs> he thinks he should always be going i know grass for the clever boy were you a good boy what a good boy he's very lazy i had about <laughs> had an extra half of my working in because i came down with half an hour thinking he might be really fresh and he was so good and chilled out um, so, yeah, we were very off the road for a little bit of the last few minutes. To be fair, we stayed in the board, so we were going to be great. So, chuck it in. Good boy. Okie dokie, on to the show jumping. Um, now, they let you in with lots of time to get round the edge, which I think is really nice because, especially for a baby like him, um, it lets him assess the arena. There's a lot going on down this bottom edge, so I wanted to trot down past these jumps on this trailer and. Uh, there's a big uh, shed full of stuff here. I just wanted him to make sure he'd seen it all so he had no excuses when we got going around the course. Um, again, this is his first time jumping on grass. Um, so I was not quite sure how to, you know, how he was going to go. Um, but he was really good. We just didn't quite have enough power coming into fence one. You see the canter's a bit flat, so we have a bit of a casual jump which leads to the pole down and then we get our acts together and we fly fence to the ground is a bit undulating in this arena so uh, that wasn't helping me get my balance back um which is something that we are working on nice jump over three so i'm constantly trying to put the balance back into the canter because he would just wants to hoon around like a lunatic and sometimes i'm successful like here we get the turn we get the balance back and we get a really lovely shot into the double. And then again, between the double and the next one, we manage to maintain the balance. So we get a nice shot over that. And then we lose it. This is where he gets two onwards and we don't have the balance into the fence. 
but then in between these two i do get the balance back and we finish on a really good note straight out onto cross country working in um he was a spicy little burrito in the working in oh my goodness we were a keen bean today for sure there was lots of landing and bronking so i was having to adopt safety position quite quickly get the brakes back engaged um i mean i was just so pleased he was feeling so good and enjoying himself because this is the first time he's done anything like this um this tent flapping in the background was not helping my uh, situation here we are parting the <laughs> the people like a red like the red sea oh dear <laughs> he was super super keen um and uh, i was just so chuffed he was feeling so good So here we go, ready to leave his first ever start box. I trotted through just in case we had any nappiness, but he started so well. Look at this lovely jump. Wee! Oh, such a good boy. So relaxed, so forward, so keen to get out there, uh, which I was really not expecting. I was expecting some arguments. Um, sweetly over two, and then it clicks to him that he's leaving everybody. So we have a big wiggle into three. Um, and I just do not react quick enough then after that to realise that he is going to have a little nap after this. And it's between that and the next fence that we have our problem. Um, now here we are coming round five. Wee um, now our problem between three and four wasn't a major problem. He just decided to stop and stand up on his back legs in between the two. And obviously we crossed our tracks trying to get to four. And then once he was going again, he was absolutely flying, as you can see here. Now we're coming back towards the working in and I did think again that we might have a little nap here and I was prepared for it this time. So we come around this turn and I say go, 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 good boy, land a bit out of balance but managed to get it back. Oh what a good boy doing his first combination. Oh he was such a good boy. Um, and now we are coming flying up this backside. Uh, big thank you to Sophie for filming this. Uh, while she was out walking her course, which sadly didn't even run the next day. Um, he was a little bit nappy all up here again, going away from everybody. But once you get him to the fence, he's flying. So we go for a bit of a gallop up here and we open up the stride. Look at him go. Um, he was super, super, super. Um, and then again, a little bit of a question as he comes towards the fence. But as soon as you get on the stride, he is flying Right, we're coming around to the corner combination now, and he just did this so superbly. I was absolutely chuffed to bits, sweetly over the first, and then we take on a forward four strides to the corner, which he jumps like an absolute pro. I was so excited, and when he jumped that, I was like, yay! Oh, he feels fantastic, and then we get a great shot to this one too. We then go and fly through the water down the bottom and are coming back up to the dreaded ditch. Mum is back here filming. She's got all of her fingers and toes crossed. We get a good shot in at the first and I just sit up, support him, let him figure it out. And oh, what a good boy. Right, we are back in the truck. We are fed. Uh, finally have some food. That's the problem with going early. You just don't seem to eat, do you? Um, enough anyway before you go. I'm so, so pleased with him today. He was such a good boy. The show jumping, uh, we had two what I would call baby poles where the first one we just didn't quite have enough power coming in and uh, the other pole we had, uh, we just would, we just were two onwards and didn't have enough balance and didn't find the right stride. But um, considering I was worried about how confident he was feeling only last weekend, he just, he felt great. He felt really good. 
Um, good enough to almost broke me off in the working in. <laughs> um, and then cross country, I mean, he was just super, super, super. We had one little nappy moment, which I thought we might have um, on the way out. It was between fences three and four. Um, so we got a 20 foot crossing our tracks because he had a little spin, but um, I'll be prepared for that next time. And uh, we got going again. And as soon as he started jumping again, he was flying. The ditch was no problem at all. We hit all the strides. He was just absolutely foot perfect after our little blip. Um, bit wiggly in places, but uh, the minute you say, we're going here, this speed, go now. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, had a little trot through the water. Um, and yeah, as you'll have seen on the videos, he was just superb, superb. Um, I'm so excited about him and the future. He just feels like he's going to be something special. And to say this was his first one, his attitude in general the whole day has been so good. He's just, he's not once felt worried or anxious or unsure. Um, yeah really relaxed and chilled out throughout the entire day and it's super windy it's like it's, it's not like a nice calm relaxing atmosphere it's pretty windy and manic so uh, yeah very very pleased we are just uh, about to head off i think and um yeah oh i got a yeah we got a 33.5 for the dress which i was really really pleased with for his first one on grass this is the first time he's done anything on grass um properly other than you know cross-country schooling um so yeah, I was actually really pleased with how he felt in the dressage, um, other than having got a bit tired. Um, so yeah, pleased with the mark and uh, lots to build on and uh, lots of um, promise for the future. Okay, so it's a couple of days after and uh, I'm still absolutely buzzing about how cool my baby pony is. Um, I don't know if I expressed it enough in the previous you know straight after on the on the day because a i was so exhausted from the early start and being battered by the wind all day um but b i just what is this beam of light doing coming over can we try the other way that's a bit better um yeah he was just absolutely epic i'm so excited about him i i need to level up my riding to reach his level and to ride him how he needs riding to make the most out of what an incredible little horse he is. So uh, I'm so excited and here is to the next one. I'm so, I just want to get out there again now. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, keep following for seeing his journey and where we get to.